Okay, so previously we have done a lot of things in this particular project. And let me quickly come back to where we from where we have started. So in this uh, Azure DevOps tutorial, we are going to understand that how we are going to manage the various pull requests and how we are going to do the code review. Now, this is one of the most important aspect if you are an Azure DevOps user, if I may, that the code review is supposed to happen because obviously we cannot trust everyone. Secondly, this helps the team to maintain the quality of the code, especially when you're operating in this DevOps environment. So what we are going to do, first of all, what I've done, I have added the member here. So what I did, I went to project setting. I clicked on teams and I clicked on my team. And from here, I clicked on add and I added this particular user or user so that he can actually do the code review for me. Now, this particular user is going to be the code reviewer for the whole application. So again, I'm assuming that is going to be the analogy there. Now, what I'll do, I'll come back here. I'm going to click on my uh, resume, again, the project name. Now, what I'll do, I'll click on this board section. Now, in this board section, obviously, this is empty. This is basically sort of a project management toolkit with which we manage a lot of things. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on a new work item. Basically, this work item is basically what is supposed to be done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this and I see various things. Is it a task? Is it an issue or is it something which is known as epic? What I'm going to do right now to keep things simple, I'm going to click on issue. Now, what is the issue do I want to create? So I will say in this particular project, I need a login page or let me quickly see what do I have in my repo. I have index.php, so uh, sorry, index.html page. So I'll say add about.html page. This is going to be the title of my issue. And here, what is the state of it? So I'm going to say it is going to be to do. Okay. Do I need to add, like, there is, uh, is there any reason for that? Okay. Where do I want to do that? And what is the iteration? So I'll keep it as simple right now. I'll keep everything default. Now, do I want to add any description? So I'll simply add the description this particular website will have a decent about this page and obviously you can see i can add emoji if i want and something whatever i want to do so obviously this is something which is available for me now obviously you can see i can do a lot of things here so like you can see i can add the comment i can add the deployment i can add the related work but right now since i'm creating my first issue right now i'm not going to do anything major here so I'm going to click on save. Now, if I come to my board section, you will see now I have something here. We have to do, I don't want to go there. We have to do, we have doing, and we have done here. Now, what is my challenge here? Now, my issue is that I want to, I want to make sure that I can add the about.html page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this repo section and now I'm going to actually clone this repo in my local machine because in the previous videos, what I did, I did everything from the panel. So what I'll do, I'm going to simply simply click on this clone option and you can see I'm getting this clone option. So I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to open the terminal and I'm going to navigate to the location where I want to actually clone this repo. Okay. Now, obviously, in case if you are not aware of it, this is going to be sort of a repetition for you. So this is the location for me. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply say git clone and I'm going to copy this. And obviously, I need to generate the git, git credential. So I'll click on this as well. And obviously, you can see I cannot see the password again. So I'll say git clone. This is going to be the repo name. And I want to clone in the same folder. So I'll say enter. Now, obviously, it is going to give me no error fine it has not given me any error for a very specific reason these credentials are already saved in my uh, what should i say in my particular folder uh, sorry in my particular computer so again if that is not saved you can simply copy and paste them i have already shown you in that previous video so again you don't have to worry now what i'll do i'll open this particular folder in my visual studio code so i'll say code dot and now you can see I'm in my Visual Studio code and I have index.html file. And obviously, like again, nothing major. Now what I'll do, I'll come back to my Visual, uh, sorry, this uh, DevOps, Azure, uh, Azure DevOps. And I'm going to click on this board section. 
now i'll click on this boards so i can see there is a board now what i'll do i'll simply drag and drop this into doing section what is the fancy thing about it now what i'll do i'll hover over this and i'll click on these three dots and here i'll say new branch that means since i'm adding about.html page i want to add a new branch so i'll click on add new branch and i'll say adding about a page again that is not a way you how you name a branch but yes this is what i'm going to do and is there any work item which is related to that so obviously that is already attached there but i'm going to just make sure that it is there and obviously if that is not available here you can simply drag it down and you can simply add that now what this means is that whenever i'm going to make some changes to that particular branch it is going to be related to this particular work item which we have created now i'm going to click on create branch and obviously you can see i have created this particular branch now what i'll do i'll come back to my visual studio and i'll click on this kit source control and obviously this is not a very fancy word so i'll just open this particular repository in git kraken okay so i've opened this particular repository in my git kraken and what i'll do i'll simply come to remote and i'll say refresh fetch origin and obviously you can see it is asking me for the credentials so what i'll do i'll simply now copy and paste my credentials here so how to put up the credentials again i'll click on clone i'll click on git generate credentials i'll copy this and i'll paste my username here and then i'll paste my password so i'll copy the password and i'll paste it here i'll click on login now obviously if you don't have any different like if you have a different tool obviously you can use that now i am quite comfortable with this particular tool so i'm using this now what i'll do i'll simply click on this particular branch which is in the origin and i'll say check out so obviously it is going to sort of add the branch in my local environment now i'm going to come back to my visual studio code and now i'll come to this file section and i'll add a new file which is about.html and i'll start adding the details so i'll say about us us page and i'll say h1 about us and p lorem so this is a very simple page i have created now what i'll do i come to my uh, git crack and if i may and i'll say added the required about us page and i'll say stage all changes and i'll say commit changes to one file and i'll say push so obviously this particular details are now in my portal how do i know that if i'll refresh the page and you can see you updated adding about us page now let's click on this You can see again this is just the uh, repository repository page if i may now if i click on this history section you can see there is a history which is here now what i'll do i'll come back to my boards and i'll click on this boards option and now let's click on this now you can see this particular item if i may it's already in the doing state Okay. Now here you can see there is a new link I should say there is a new deployment which is linked to this particular work item. So this is basically signifying that if I'm going to move this particular work item from doing to done it is going to say okay this is the kind of work or I should say this is the commit which we have made here for this particular work item. But obviously this is not what I'm going to do right now. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to click back on the pull right sorry my repos and I'm going to say create a pull request now obviously we have seen this particular pull request now here what i'm going to do instead of doing this particular thing i'm going to say okay this person is going to review my repository so i'm going to add this person who is going to be the reviewer of this particular commit if i and what is the work item obviously that what particular work item is already added and in case if i want to create any tags i can create those tags also and now 
when I click on create, you can see there are options create and create as default. So instead of that, I will simply click on. Now what happened? Now this particular, uh, I should say, pull request is not yet complete. For a very specific reason, we have to approve that. Now who's going to approve that? It is the person who is the reviewer of it. So let's log in back from his account and see what we can see there. So that is it for this video. I just want to understand if you have any confusion, any doubt, put them in the comment. If you need a career guidance, obviously in that case, there is a link in the description of this video or also in the comment section. Click that link, fill in the details and someone from our team will make sure that your career doubt is clear because this is what we stand for. So thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.